Hey, what's up, everybody? So um, on this, uh, I want to do a quick video actually on on pitching uh, sale, uh, actual offers that come in on a Friday. I get asked this uh, sometimes, and you know, sometimes when I'm working with uh, other brokers, you know, we get offers in, and you know, they they they're you know they're motivated to you know get their first deal closed or the deal closed, and they want to call the customer, let them know, oh hey, we you know that we got an offer for them, uh, and you know, I always let them know is one thing I'd never do is I never actually pitch an offer on a Friday. So that's the way I was taught. Yeah, you know, I would say most brokers will agree with that. Um, there's a couple of reasons why. Um, one reason, if you, you know, pitch a deal on Friday, let's say, you know, I actually got this offer here today. It's a good offer also. I'm doing an SBA loan for this particular client. Uh, but, uh, you know, as a lot of you already know, I always offer the client while we're doing SBA, I let them know, hey, do you need an immediate funding now? Um, and if they do, then I, you know, go ahead and submit it for a, you know, a bridge type, you know, MCA uh, type of deal so that, uh, you know, while we're waiting for the SBA to go through, we can easily get them some short-term capital. So you can, you know, get two commissions and one, one now, and then, you know, you can get one, you know, 45 you know, days to two months down the road. So you're always doubling it up on, on, on an actual commission. Um, so this particular client, let's say I did call him, I did pitch him. You never know. Let's say he, you know, just you know, was thinking about it. Talked to his business partner, his spouse, friend, family. Who knows? Um, a lot of times, you know, you know, without you being the one that's actually explaining the product to them, that other person's going to hear the cost. You know, they just throw some random numbers out, and then Monday comes around, they just completely decide against it. Um, or they, you know, this particular client wouldn't do that. You know, um, just ghost me because we're doing an SBA for them. But if you're just pitching somebody with like, you know, bad credit, the only thing offer that you have for them is a, uh, you know, cash advance uh, and you pitch it on Friday, then, you know, most likely they're going to ghost you come, uh, come Monday. Um, so yeah, the biggest thing that you never do, you never pitch a deal on Friday. I'm going to call this client up. I'm going to let them know, Hey, you know what? We got this, you know, we got an offer for you, a uh, bridge loan, you know, bridge loan, and uh, on Monday, I'm going to give you a call first thing in the morning. Uh, I'm going to go over all the numbers for you because I don't have all the details as of yet. And, um, you know, once we, uh, you know, once we uh, go through, uh, you know, the numbers, I'll let them know that you can actually fund, you know, the very same day. So uh, other one of the other reasons why you don't uh, pitch it on Friday is because you just never know if another stipulation is going to be needed. So. Uh, you know, step another steps needed, then you know that's going to prolong the process. Once again, nothing's going to fund. You know, 99% of the time on a Friday, uh, so the you know it's going to take it over the weekend. And once again, you never know who can get to that client. You know, it could be another broker because they filled something online, or you know, or business partner, friend, family that talks them out of it. So. Um, only exception to that rule, obviously, there's always an exception. So, but the exception to that rule is somebody calls in, and this has happened to me before. Uh, they need a payroll on Friday, and they're like, they're adamant about it. So, you know, if you have a good relationship with different lenders that you work with, uh, and this is a this is what it was actually a deal that I did. Um, got, guy called in literally like at six in the morning, found us on the internet, you know, probably through LinkedIn or something, and. Uh, you know, cool guy. He actually had a legitimate business, but he didn't get paid some invoices. He was actually short 80 grand on his payroll. So he, um, I called one of my lenders up that I had a good relationship with, spoke to my rep. He, they took it over to their supervisor and actually like the company, the president got involved of the company and uh, he, the, the president owner spoke with the client uh, and we were able to fund them actually the very same day. So they, the, the Payroll was met, and it was actually right around uh, Christmas time. So it was actually kind of it was pretty cool that everyone got paid. So, um, so that was obviously an exception to that rule. But 99% of the time, you're never going to pitch a deal on uh, on Friday. If you do, you're just you know you're 99% of the time you're probably going to lose it. So because come Monday, somebody's going to talk them out of it, or they're going to go online shop your shop shop it around, and uh, another broker's going to you know uh, come in and, and try to snag your deal. So. I uh, hope this helps. You know, if anybody has any questions at all, you know, feel free, like, as always, to reach out. If you're in the Facebook group, feel free to reach out. Um, and uh, yeah, just uh, you, my, if you're watching this on YouTube, there should be a, um, a link so you can join the Facebook group if you're not in, in it. Or um, my uh, yeah, call DanielD.com. You can always schedule a call. You just download the ebook and uh, my calendar. It goes to my calendar link. 
uh, and you can schedule a call at any time. So if we haven't done any deals together, hopefully we can do a, a deal together soon. But I um, hope everybody uh, had, you know, has had a, a productive, you know, month since we're almost towards the end of the month. And uh, happy Friday. I hope everybody has a good weekend. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.